Hello everyone, I am Sacred and thank you for joining me in a new video. Yes, I'm making a video again. I was quite inactive for the last months and while well, I didn't say this, but my I had two GTX 1070 Ti's and one broke down and I didn't knew what the cause was so I didn't use my PC because I didn't want, I want to break down. It is in repair but I landed a graphics card of my friend. Actually, I borrowed my car to him. That's another story. Uh, so, uh, in I bloody don't know what I should do because I didn't play this game for a long time. And let's say, uh, let's simply do a nice easy challenge. Let's try to restart the British Empire. The British Empire. Let's fucking do that. If you don't know what the British Empire is, uh, you Google it up. It says the British Empire compromises the dominions, colonies, protectorates, mandates, and other territories. Ruled or administered by the United Kingdom and its predecessor states. Well, but with the restoration of the British Empire, I mean direct rule that London will rule directly above all of their colonies. So I, you know, we control most of these, except USA, etc. But they are dominions. So our goal is to reduce the autonomy so much so we can actually annex them. That's possible if you got the DLCs. Let's do that. So we're gonna restore all of these possessions. Firstly, let's say let's focus on the US. My goal is I'm gonna directly annex all of these states here and the rest I will just pop it. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, let's do that. I'm also gonna show you with which mods I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play with uh, more units level extended range. Uh, clean menu fonts, white map fonts, palace sound sound modification, colored puppets, colored blindness mod, colored buttons, combat tactics, fixed. Then extended streamline production, uh, wars, democracies, just to make the game a little bit more fun. I wouldn't say that's OP. If you think that's OP, let me know in the comments, but I don't think so. Uh, GG's goes belly. Monarch is expanded for king and country so we can get the, the royalist throne up and running in the UK again. So UK will be a royalist country. And then strategic view adjustments, the road to 56, World War II's map plus. And yeah, that's it. DLCs I have, uh, is it death or dishonor and take a level victory? Let's get into the game. Let's have some fun restoring the British Empire. This isn't really a challenge, but let's call it a challenge because yeah, let's uh, try to do it as fast as possible. I guess you don't have audio, but that's easy to fix. Yeah, Alright, so there we go. <coughs> yeah, that's fun for also. I'm really. I got the flow since uh, six days, but hey, that doesn't uh, hold me from making videos, does it? No, it doesn't. I just have to drink some tea. Alright, so 1936, we're gonna play United Kingdom on regular, let's play with Historical Air Focus. With Historical Air Focus. And I'm playing with the Road to 56 as well. Why did I actually, yeah, I'm playing with the Road to 56, so uh, we have different focus trees for all of the countries. Uh, let's play on regular Historical Air Focus. Actually, I don't care about that, let's just make it picked on. It's it's more handy for us since the countries don't decide to go independent that way. Play on regular, and let's get into the game. Let's also play on Iron Man mode. I wouldn't mind. Let's, uh, I can play on Iron Man mode. Yeah, you see here. Uh, British Empire Restoration. The saving of the cult. Yes. say all called puppets it just looks better that way I think so yeah you know as always I'm gonna focus on military production first grab one area get it up and running research slots for the basic drill in my three construction special research division as well as the lamp of cream uh, let's produce uh, many weapons first many weapons and after that also some support equipment and also I guess I think they're queued in. Three and three for now. Uh, just finish the production of all of these ships. Not that I really care. I just want to get them finished here in Dawa. After that, I'm gonna only produce convoys because convoys have the best effect on 
uh, reducing someone's autonomy. I got the puppets for example, yeah. Maybe I'm gonna send them out, let's see for now. National focus, you see the focus here is completely different because of the um, because of the road to 56, let's get out of comments. Which will give us 120 uh, political power. Oh, I also said, so currently our focus will be to uh, conquer the 13 colonies. And after that to puppet the rest of the USA. Uh, the rule for this game is that I'm only allowed to rule. I'm only allowed to rule uh, the territories a uh, the British Empire actually owned during the history directly. Yes. Everything else has to be a puppet. That's the only rule. Right, That's, yeah. Quite nice. Uh, I can't even move. Okay, like that. There we go. Nice bad line here. Just I want all of my troops, no matter where they are or where they belong yes. to, to get to America. I should be yes, ready. The Spanish Civil War, oh no. Right, sir. All right. Oh yeah, I should maybe pause. Yes, sir. Just get you there. Get you there as well. Yeah. Then we go there. Let's see. Let's get the troops of our dominions first. British Malaya. Yes, sir. Yeah, these two as well. The British troops of the British Raj. I'm gonna get these 11 as right, sir. well. X45. And all salt. Let's not forget the South African troops. X plus 6 nice divisions. Yes. It's 51. The of Canada. Request forces makes 30 in extra divisions for us. Yeah. It's quite nice. What else do we have? Australia, Australia of New Zealand, how could I forget these two? Press forces, extra seven. Right up! And New Zealand, I'm gonna get extra three divisions. Yep! Make 70 and four. Yes, sir! Uh, you wanna go this front, ready up, and is to conquer the USA. Alright. We'll be let the field marshal. Uh, so, uh, Montgomery, let's say Alan. Yeah. By Ballard Montgomery. Montgomery. Let's get the third ministry because we don't want to go fascist. We'll get a royalist. We'll also get the royalist advisor. Uh, is it. Uh, yeah, Civil Murphy, royalist in place. The people want the king. Yeah, the people want the king. That should be straightforward. Uh, I need 10 oil. Oil I can get for now from um, Soviets. I have no problem with them. Okay, my troops are getting ready. Let's just wait until they're shipped in, in and then the war can begin. Justifying will cost 35%, uh, but I know where we go. Trick. Because Philippines are their puppet, I can justify on them and then uh, things will be fine. Yep. <coughs> I should have maybe went for dispersed industries so I can actually annex more of the American factories. Let's actually wait for that until we research dispersed industry. Then we can start the war because I think the war will take 180 days anyway. So All dispersed industry. And let's go for limited rearmament. It's as there's no effect. Oh, we have not enough buildings, lots of civilian factories. Oh, that's a shine. Probably because. Um, yeah, if I stop them, I'm gonna get. Yeah. For extra factories. That's nice, so I shouldn't produce them there. Let's just. Uh, build them there for now, in the upper areas. And my Air Force. Yeah, I can send some planes to Canada as well, I guess. Let's do that. It takes some time, so let's still let's send our entire. Ex actually, I have better plans. Disband our entire air force, anyways. That's I think a better idea. Completely disband it, and after that, I intended to uh, create a organized air force so there. It can let's just pause the game. Right, you're on a ship. You can stay there. You too. And I have some uh, points here. And in Israel, that's fine. Uh, some points there as well. Get rid of them. 
think some points for there. Is that it? Do I have any more points? There are all ships now. Alright. Now I can restore. Oh, I'm so ill, man. <laughs> now I can restore the points here. Let's make wings of uh, 300 points. 300 fighters. Right. Still do we have some 200 bombers. Um, 300 five bombers. And that's it. Let's wait until they deploy. In the meanwhile, our troop is still arriving. So we need to wait until they arrive. Otherwise, until they arrive and until they get organized. We don't want them to get, get shot down by the Americans. But still, I think it's still uh, we are in deficits of uh, inventory equipment. So I should maybe make that deficit go away. Although I think if we are in deficit, so are the Americans. Are they? Yeah. Most likely. <laughs> Justifying would take how long? Justifying would take us around uh, uh, just 15 days because we lost the faster mod. That's nice. Alright. Mm. This shortage will just for the last 90 days. Well, you know what? I can wait 90 days. That's, that's I think, alright. Our troops can prepare, and I'm gonna attack them in an aggressive manner, the Americans. They're gonna get crushed. This front will left to be the MT, because you know the AI isn't really smart and they're focusing their units uh, on, on most likely on that front, so... You know, it's actually also beneficial for us. Let's get the equipment. And I got a little rearmament done, now I'm gonna... Let's get the foreign foreign secretary. Europe has once again become a power cap. Well, he, what I like here is that you're actually able to decide between appeasement and containment. And we're gonna go for containment, that's for sure. We're gonna go for containment. Uh, let's get to the sound war first. Tell you won the war. And then, well, this war will really uh, just completely enrage world tension, especially after the peace treaty, that's for sure, that's like guaranteed. Okay, 40 days, 39. I'm gonna declare the war when I have plus 5000 infantry equipment in storage, until then I think it's just time for us to wait. Want to get two lines of weapons producing. So our goal after our light cruiser is finished, well, I want to see actually. Let's get a calculator up and see what's more efficient, uh, like, to compare them. Mm -hmm. Factory drives. Firstly, well, is my... Okay, so I'm just gonna get my phone here. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, 16. Let's get to one. So, with uh, 5, 10. 10 factories, you produce 2.5 convoys per week. 2.5. 10 factories. Five. With, with 10 factories, you pull 63. Let's see, how much does 63 weapons actually make an impact? Let's start at least 63 weapons only make an impact of 0 0.31, while two convoys make an impact of 1.4. Wow. So, convoys are way more beneficial, actually, 10 times more beneficial to land to a subject then uh, infantry equipment, so we're just gonna produce convoys with our remaining uh, nail dockyards. Four per week, it's nice, so I can integrate them. But it will take some years, I think it will really take some years. We'll integrate them, it's not that easy. Our secretary is done, now let's count calling your secretary. So they can get extra factories, which they can use, and I can use in the future as well if I annex them. Uh -huh. Now it's time to uh, declare war. Oh no. Okay, it's looking alright. I said when it's 5k. When it's uh, 3k, I can start the... I can start just a When it's 3k. Getting support of royalists. That's always welcome to say. Belgium renounces to French protection. Okay. Philippines, justify war girl, conquer, Lilsen. 
it's 15, 50 days. By that time, we should be ready to strike against the United States of America. Royalists have a considerable support of 37%. That's always nice to see. Sound my points to go active in New England. Because I support all these three tasks. And in New Canada as well. Yes, supremacy they can only do. One fighter will actually go active in Canada. Intercept them. And let's uh, encourage colonial elite. Get the nice post there. Specification is finished, and there aren't even sufficient American troops on the border. That's interesting. But declaring war will up lower world tension by minus 11 percent. Right. Well, the rest joined in. That's nice. And now, uh, what tension went down to 0%. We have 563,000 troops fighting 400,000. Yes, we should uh, advance rapidly. Shouldn't be a problem at all. I can't see the battle progress there for whatever weird reason. Really, I, they are fighting there, but I can't see all the battle progresses. And with the rest, I could actually get total mobilization, but I think that's. Uh, it would we would suffer in terms of manpower that way. We don't have enough manpower. Freight. I can enact limited conscription though, which I need. And also, okay, I can't make this conscription yet. Let's get army offense, army offense. Oh, I'm not even tracking the advance because it's so easy to conquer the United States in the early stages. Even as Mexican would probably succeed. Probably, I'm not sure about that. If it ends, you see New England is back under English rule. So we can probably say it's New England for the reason now. Yeah. With three divisions pushed through, let's capture Chicago. The Americans are just 13% towards capitulation. I lost 83,000 men, while we lost uh, just 3,000, so that's nothing. But it's quite weird that declaring war as a that democracy actually allows world tension. You know, that abdicates the royalist throne as 48 percent perhaps they're gonna seize the throne quite soon canada got new england <laughs> under their command that i'm gonna shift the airplanes to the midwest with americans northern cities failing like dominoes before the canadian army many feared it was only a matter of time before new york would too fall this stock reality has finally been realized as the Canadian army has broken through the pickets around the cities, all of them have annihilated what remained of the American force in the city. The remaining Americans have gone to ground. <laughs> Just imagine Canada uh, conquering the United States. The American unity is quite high with 75%. Uh, Mexico nationalizes oil. Well, I can declare war, but I'm not going to declare war. Just gonna embargo them. <laughs> I don't even have much oil. <laughs> but yeah, a country doesn't have enough oil, then you go ahead and say, Why I declare war? <laughs> That's quite interesting. King's God has been formed, the royalists clearly formed the majority in our country right now. Good to see. I'm gonna get hierarchy as well for better divisions. We are victorious on all fronts. Ask Pennsylvania, Philadelphia, Wisconsin, Ohio, Illinois, New York, Michigan, for everything. Except that, alright. Now it's under British rule. The fall of New York. Now look to the. Oh, it's a new event. The last time the British military kept a serious military presence in New York was 1783, when the British evacuated this city as the American colonial army, led by George Washington. And assisted by the French, Dutch, Spanish, defeated the British in the world. History today has been rectified as the British army marches through the streets of New York once more. Although they know we are cocky instead of red, they carry rifles instead of finlocks, the British have nevertheless made their return. Initially, a huge procession through Times Square and down the streets of the city were planned, but after a bomb went off in the gathering, squadron of soldiers killing 12 or further Paris have been cancelled and the British soldiers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, they expecting the fall of Washington. For the second time in history, British soldiers have burned the capital of the United States to the ground. 
Although this attempt has brought far more death and destruction on both armies, with numerous British ships wrecked along the coast from American forts, and thought that are missing from the desperate battle for the American capital, British dominance of the area has finally established itself. The American papers have wrecked and are decrying that the Union may finally be broken by its oldest enemies, to while the British proclaim the much the same, though in a much more positive light. <laughs> Most rebels have finally gotten their confidence. <laughs> it's quite funny though. <laughs> yeah. It's getting more convoys. Yeah, the British army is finally advancing. Advancing on all fronts. Victory is imminent. Victory is imminent. It's sweet, isn't it? I'm not even focusing on that. Let's go for containment. It's become clear that Hitler uh, and the other fascist regimes cannot be reasoned with as much as the British people hope for peace. It is no longer an option. Look to that. The revolution takes hold. So now I can declare. Declare the. Um, Declare the British Empire, the crown, because the ruling party public election will not be held. Let's say that. Long live the king. Now we are ruled by George the Sixth. Now we are truly an empire. The first step to re-establishing the British Empire, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, has therefore begun. This is only our initial wave of victories. After that, far more, far more victories are yet to come. Our second target will be Ireland, and after that, uh, Iraq. Ireland, then Iraq. Let's see uh, how um, um, how uh, how uh, successful the Irish Republican Army will be this time. The IRA. Let's produce as many as we can. Regions. Right. I should actually produce them after the war because I need to do this for the front line. Yeah, for, for front line, I need them. The British Empire. Haha. <laughs> yes. Let's that it's stunning victory. Yes, the troops of the Commonwealth have got a huge part already. We only lost 35,000, while the Americans lost 158,000 troops. So this. This is a bloodbath for the Americans. We currently read the most with 60% towards the ocean. I'm gonna send my airplanes away from this province into the Midwest and get them up to there because that's where they are needed. That's where the Americans are contesting a supremacy, but not for long. Perhaps maybe the bombers can help in the East Coast as well. Things are getting a bit easier that way. I mean, our core population is quite low with only a 44%. That's why I'm gonna focus on getting the. Uh, getting yeah. actually India back into the British Empire. And Chile, because we're in Chile, interesting. So the Chilean civil war is broke out, so just for all. Let's go and catch yes, an audience. Let's see, the Americans, they are. 72% um, towards capitulation. So until they capitulate, right, it will take some time. No, we have time, we have time, we just... Yeah, our losses uh, went up to 50,000, although the Americans, they shouldn't have any uh, factories to... Um, to that they can use, but hey, they can... I mean, they should get rid of the Great Depression, especially if they are in the war, I think, at least. But yeah, this isn't the case. Let's do some military rearmament, which will result us in a stunning six extra military factories. Our armed forces have suffered as we continue to neglect them and hide under the impression there was a lasting peace. We must rearm our military and prepare for possible war. We must indeed, indeed. Now Florida is getting captured quite quick. Our troops did already soon fully recapture the 13 colonies. Let's say great, that's a stunning success for us. After the capture of Miami, the Americans won't oh, surrender no, yet. Well, I mean, I'm really impressed by the uh, supremacy of the British troops compared to the Americans. I would never have thought that the British would have such a superior army, to be honest. That's astonishing, the uh, rate of success you are having here. Really, I would have expected that, not in the least, not in the slightest. So that the Americans, they are 92% towards capitulation. You see another victory from the capture. 
I don't think so, so we have to march across the United States. To, maybe it was towards Angles. Should be fine. Let's see, I'm declared at war on the country click. I can shift my airplanes from the Midwest to Oklahoma, after that to the south of the USA. And these I'm gonna move to Florence. So that's the central USA. I can't reach that. That's a shame. Towards Louisiana, then there, and there. there. It's fine. Yeah. It's only a question of time now until the Americans actually start. Let's see how much we're gonna get. Actually, I want to annex them after. That's not. Let's see what is it. Let's okay. hold Let's go. all attacks. All, hold everything. Hold okay. everything. Now we're moving. Hold all attacks. Yeah. Because if I research this, then I can actually, I think, annex more of their factories. Because uh, I think the slots will be quite filled here, and that's what we want. We want to get uh, as much out of this war as possible. Therefore, I can now focus on uh, training my troops here. Let's, let's train my tournament divisions. We can even afford that. Let's get some spur equipment, fire spur equipment, also I should get a bloody strong... Yeah, I should... I completely forgot to produce fighters. So as tanks, I'm not even producing motorized equipment. Oh, that's quite bad, let's focus on that. That down, alright. There's some nice plans. Let's denounce German aggression. For centuries of the British Empire has been trying to sustain uh, yeah, that the one sits. Uh, Netherlands wants to join the Allies, realizing that German aggression might not be contained. Netherlands fears an invasion is imminent, and is asking for our protection. Let's accept. Touch the Allies. All right. Oh, welcome, Dutch. Yeah, that's fine. I picked the right thing. I don't ten days. <coughs> oh, what the Dutch just left the faction at once? Oh, because we're royalists. <laughs> that's why. I don't want to be with us, yeah, because we have a different ideology. That event wasn't well made, considering the circumstances. Was it? Not really, or whatever. So the United States, they are getting some West Coast talk, yes. Or they can, so... I mean, they will have a certain degree of independence, after all. I mean, we are not gonna fully annex them. But... Their independence will won't be uh, as great and as powerful as it uh, has been before. That's for sure. What do I want to do? Let's get that extra research slot. Our industrial expansion. Yeah. The research slots, and after that, I uh, want to get the uh, perhaps let's get traditional roles and our politics. We are a really strong industrial complex. With the Americans on our side, we can actually have a good chance of yeah, facing the Germans. The Czechs are on their own, Czechs are making must be defended. Well, I have to sadly say that the Czechs are on their own, because uh, yeah, we spared another world war. We are not in any position right now fighting the Americans to actually fight the Germans as well. So I'm sorry, Czechs, but your fight has been... yeah, goodbye. Okay. After 40 days, the Americans will be next. In the meanwhile, well, the Irish have one division, that's not really much. But I can't justify Wargalm Island for whatever, oh, because I'm royalist, alright. We're gonna get at the industry as well. Now we will record the United Kingdom. I mean, we are already called the British Empire. But if it's just that we would be the case, we would be called the United Kingdom of uh, Great Britain and Ireland as well. Doesn't that sound nice? <laughs> Let's uh, expand conscription. To win a war you need, man. We have been too likes on our conscription and now we have winnable or whatever. And with <coughs> you, let's get extra breakthrough. Yeah. Two more days and start the offensive. Yes, sir! Start the offensive. I can't even see American troops here and the USA should surrender within the next days. And why is that? They did. Great. Now the Treaty of Los Angeles. The Treaty of Los Angeles. I'm gonna reopen the British Empire map and see actually which provinces the British Empire controlled. The British Empire, the 
13 colonies. I mean, the 13 colonies were only leveled, but the British also controlled more. The 13 colonies were only this. Honestly, you know, but that's not what they just controlled. If I. If Wikipedia should be right. But you know, it's always right. It, they also controlled Michigan, Ohio. So let's see. Let's. Yeah, we're gonna annex New England, New York, New Jersey, Maryland, Pennsylvania, Virginia. North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Fl Florida, yeah, Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Vir Virginia, Maryland, Pencil Pennsylvania, New New Jersey, New York, New England, Ohio, Michi Michigan, Michigan, I Indiana, Kentucky, Tennessee, Tennessee, Alabama, Al. Alabama, Mississippi, 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 Illinois, Wisconsin, Wisconsin. Okay, is this actually in reverse? So everything on this side will be annexed by us. And the turn, and I mean the rest of the USA will stay. Uh, we just be parted. First I like the Philippines, and after that I like the USA. There we go. There we go. British Empire took 19 states. Kingdom of the Philippines was parted. British North American territories was parted. Now it's called British North American territories. <laughs> They're even royalist. <laughs> Oh, poor them British North American territories. Uh, <laughs> isn't that sweet? Yeah, anyways, now we are the strongest industrial power on Earth and ready to conquer the others. But I'm gonna take a break here, a cut. So thank you all for watching me. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for the next episode. Please share as well. I may not, I may not uh, make videos for a long time. So thank you all and see you next time. Goodbye and have a nice day.